Yeah, I bet it is funny. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. I watched Dune for a second time uh, last night as well. Um, God damn, that's a good fucking movie. Any better the second time? Any yeah, worse? It was, you yeah. know, you notice more. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking great. It's fucking killer. Those yeah, I watched it. I watched it like four times. I love that movie. It, I, 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 I just like Denis Villeneuve. Just like he's just he's just really good at he's it. Really fucking good. Um, but that's the ultimate movie. The ultimate. If someone's like, bro, I put on like I have a buddy who's like, I put on Dune, bro, and I heard this fucking woman and her stupid kid complaining about life in the fucking desert for like an hour, bro. And it's the ultimate, like, it's not for everyone. Yeah. And I tell people all the time it's not for everyone. People are like, yo, should I see Dune? And I'm like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But I'm gonna go see it a third time now. Like, like there's I, so oh, many little fan. things in there that had me like. Like, because I know the story or whatever. I haven't read the mm-hmm. book, but um, I, I obviously watched the first one multiple times, like both versions, and I like it. It's got I got a soft spot for it for that for that first Dune movie. But like, there's a part where like his boots were like put on in a in a, in a particular way, and she's like, "Your boots are on desert shimmy shimmy style," and he's like, <laughs> "It just seems it just seemed like the right way." And he is like, the chosen one, and then, and then she like like quotes some sort of like nonsense and he shall know the ways of your people and he <laughs> shall know how to put his boots and on I, <laughs> I almost wish he'd been like could we all what <laughs> it's literally like it's she literally said like, it out loud in front of him like <laughs> that was funny like he just like put something on in a way that makes sense intrinsically and they're like how did you know? Not, did. Like, like, you tied your, your, you you your shoelaces with bunny ears. It would be, <laughs> so it would be you don't like, tie your shoelaces to each like, shoe? Like, you like, double knotted? Here's the thing. <laughs> That's a I desert guarantee, trick. I guarantee it, that like one like special forces guy sees another tie his fucking shoes as strangers, and he's like, oh, I noticed you're using the, the loop-de-loop method. He, but many, even how, with you, there's blood on your hands. Even when she <laughs> described <laughs> She's like, yeah, oh, you put like the loop on the outside of your boot. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, but from what you just said, that's exactly how I would have done it. Too. <laughs> and I'm not fucking Muadib or whatever. So <laughs> yeah. just, like, I'm not the Quizak Hadarak. I'm just I fucking put the loop over the shoe because that's what like anyone. That's what you do with that. shoes. I've been yeah. skiing, bro. Like I know how it works. <laughs> they did a really good job of like not being up their own ass about how cool their special effects were. Like uh, so much was obscured by smoke, oh, amazing. fog, dust, and, and and darkness. Like 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 I feel like um who's it just that existed. That, you never thought about it. Made uh, uh, Independence Day Schumacher or like like who was that made Independence Day? Like I can't think of that fucker's name. But but like. He would never hide a fucking spaceship, but like like, like that, he's, he's, it would have to be like big and bright, and the sun would be lit on it. And and yeah, like, you never thought about the effects in that movie. Like it just the movie just existed. The, you um, never thought about it. Like it I thought there. it was all about special effects. Now we want someone opened my eyes. It might have been filthy to this, but I was like, there were so many slow scenes where they gradually unveiled a CGI room a CGI ship, a CGI crawler. A yeah. CGI, like, and I'm like, oh my God, I get it. You're beating me over the head with your goddamn CGI. I took it up differently. But then Filthy said, I think it was Filthy. Um, what they're doing here is they're explaining the world to you without beating you over the head. Like, this is what the technology is like. All the technology isn't self-driving. It's operated by people. This is a family of great power and prestige. That's what you're taking away from this slow room unveiling. It is a royalty. And I was like, all right, all right. You're right. I was wrong. I saw that movie and I was like, that was great. I don't felt like, I didn't feel like I lacked anything. I saw it again. I understood it further. I was like, oh, okay. Then I went and read the Dune book because I never read it before. And I had a flight and I got on the plane and I fucking read it. And I was like, bro, I would never like this book Mm -mm. if that movie wasn't so sick. That's right. Um, This guy doesn't even describe, he doesn't even describe what people look like. You don't know what anyone looks like. He describes like Baron Harkonnen because it's like, you have to explain it. But like he doesn't, he says like, you know, like Paul Atreides is like a pointy nose. Picture whatever the fuck you want, basically. He describes like equipment here and there. That. He'll describe a room. But I know the like, worst part. Hey, I was you, like, if I didn't have the movie, this would be fucking yeah, you, you hard. You have no so, point of reference. Do you know what happens to Paul Atreides in the books? I'm not going to spoil it. I'm just asking if you know. Yes. But, but I didn't read it. I 
I went to a subreddit after reading the book, but I went to a subreddit that goes to all the books. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I got like a book two or book three spoiler, and I was like, yeah. oh. And it was such a thing that I was like, what's the best Dune book? And people were like, book four. And I'm like, fuck. I got to <laughs> read two and three now to get to the good one. That's so frustrating. But yeah, I'm still uh, down because the whole world of it, like I'm I'm in on it. Like I it's like dense. it. There's so much. Yeah. It, it reminds me so much of Warhammer 40K, like like parts of it do. What's like, that? Like, I've never heard you. Is that a thing you like? Are you joking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys played Tarkov? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, you like bacon and liquor? I have. <laughs> Fuck the shit. No, but I, I agree. I, I love the book, and I, I started to read it after that. I wouldn't have felt that way. And I never watched Old Dune. And people were like, it's so trippy. And I was like, why would it be trippy? Dude. And then I went and I put on the Old Dune movie. And it starts off, and I'm like, "This is so fucking trippy." With Virginia and then, Madsen with that and, with that fucking exposition. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know me, I love my expositions. But then, like, they got they started, they did some shit, and I was like, "Who the fuck is that? You're starting here. This is how there's, we do it. This is how you spell it out for like a 1980s audience." There's that part, did, and I don't know if this is in the extended edition or, or, or not. But but like, let me lay this out for the audience. The evil character has a hairless cat that is presented, and the hairless cat has a rat that has either been tied to it or grafted surgically to it. It's hard to tell if those are bandages or just like some way to secure it. And he's informing this man that he has been poisoned, and the only cure for his poison, well, there is no cure, but there is medication for it. It is the milk of this hairless cat. And so every day he must milk the hairless cat for his antidote. <laughs> and you're like, all right, so these are the bad guys, right? <laughs> and, then, and then there's the one guy who's got like the heart plug. And like, I'm sure the book explains a little bit better, but it seems to me that they like surgically implanted like a thing in his heart where like, if you want to, you can just pull it out. And it's like pulling the stopper on a bathtub. You know, like 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 the like it just unseals his heart to the world yeah. and he just bleeds out right there. And he does that to the guy, like like for no apparent reason. And he's clearly there has like this incestuous fat infatuation with his son, who is played by Sting. Sting comes out and he's like not only was Sting like clearly like one of the hottest men in like the world at that point, but like he's the hottest man on the planet Harkonnen. Because like everybody else there is is, is like a greasy pig of a human being, and he's like wearing that, that weird fucking like I don't know what that cod piece he's wearing with the wings and everything is. And he's just like ripped his fuck eight pack coming out. And, and his dad is like, fuck yeah. yeah. And, then, and, then, and then they cut <laughs> his brother and his brother's like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, are you guys jerking it to like, 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 like sting right now? Like, what are we supposed to take from this? It, it, yeah. They're so, I don't think, I don't think he's related to sting actually. They are. They're, 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 that's his. That's his um, He's the uncle of the other guy, the bigger one. I thought they were brothers. No, this guy's like a, a ward of sorts to him. Maybe cool. there is a relation. Okay. I don't think so, but maybe he's like it's a general. Still very he weird. Yeah, he's like a ward. And there's strong pedo vibes. Like he's like basically he's got. Oh, he's like got a, a boy. He's got a, a boy. boy. Yeah, he's yeah. got boys. Yeah, he's got a fin boy for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. In like the original that. movie, it's very clear that Harkonnen wants to fuck him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a horny guy, and I was watching. I was like, "Oh, mm -hmm. they leaned hard in the horniness. We didn't get much horniness in the Deneville one." But, uh, and I heard someone. I can't remember who I heard reviewing it, but they, they they described it this way: that in the original, they really took the most bizarre things from the book and were and like, "Look how zany this is!" Like, there's the part where Baron Harkonnen is like floating around the room like Willy Wonka style, like he's just like, like <laughs> yeah. silly. It, it gets silly. And in the Villeneuve, whatever his fucking name, I can't do it, um, version, this new version, he just kind of floats a little. And you're like, oh, he's he's just got some sort of hover thing going on. Okay, that, that actually seems a, a marginally practical. Maybe they've got a heavy gravity on their planet or some shit. Yeah. He doesn't float away like Willy Wonka on like... He literally is like a balloon that you let the air out. He's in the room and he's like... It, it, it's a terrible looking effect. And, and and like all the effects in the original look. Well, bad. the shield. I saw the shields and I was like, what the fuck? They're like in rectangles. Do you know how they do that? That that fucking uh, thing? That's I think no that's idea. called rotoscoping. Oh, yeah, um, I know how that's done. And it involves literally drawing yeah. those by hand with a ruler and for yeah. every frame over. But you end up not being able to see shit. I love that technology and that premise because you've always got this issue 
anytime like like it's it's hard to have a narrative that involves guns where your main character doesn't get shot by the fucking gun right away because why wouldn't he it's mm-hmm. like look, he's without him we'd be nowhere bang you're nowhere like 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 that's what would happen right like like but this has kind of solved that um so because you have to use the the hand-to-hand weapons because the slow blade penetrates the shield the fast blade well if you right use off. and they have they have a laser weapon yeah it, you have a like a fucking literally a nuclear explosion nuclear explosion <laughs> if, if you shoot any one of these guys wearing while he's wearing a shield with one of the like fancy laser guns but this this country is nuked. Like, the, yeah. like, like, like all of us I didn't are know that. I, yeah, I had to read. That I read that part like fifteen times. I'm like, my understanding is, I'm like, every all the shields that I saw in the so, movie, if anyone shot someone with not a projectile gun but like a laser gun, laser. I'm like even the ones like I'm like, then everyone gets nuked. But yeah. what they don't tell you in the new movie is like that the ships that came and bombed the shit when it's it's actually so sick. The explosions that happen here, they're so sick and they look awesome. And like when the ship comes and crashes down, it just looks real. That whole scene, they don't say it in the movie, but they're using like artillery and like explosives and projectiles. And and in the book, they're like, why would you use this? This is like like 80,000 years old. And they're like, oh, because we're just going to blow them up. They're going to have the they're going to have shields up. We can't hit anyone with shields. And they don't talk about it. But in the book is like, you know, because if you hit someone with a shield with a laser gun, it's a nuclear explosion. Yeah. And I was like, sense. how does that, why would that ever make sense to give everyone little potential nuclear explosive scenarios? You know what but, I mean? Because, because it allows you to have a sci fi narrative where you get to have sword fights. And it makes sense because even Star Wars doesn't make much sense because I guarantee I could kill a Jedi if you give me an AR-15. Hit the, hit the Yeah. Well, hey, the Jedis, apparently Mandalorians were able to kill Jedis like they had shotguns. That's like what the, I, yeah. the lightsabers don't work well. Like you can block a shotgun. <laughs> oh my so like God. Mandalorian weapons. Wow, were so like that really made. is it's all so you obvious. need. Yeah. I never thought about it. So just a, a single shot. shotgun burst yeah. and even Yoda yeah, there, is The Mandalorian dead. weapons were like made for Jedi specifically. That's why right. you Star Wars is stupid. Works. It is now it is. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> <laughs>